you have an argument, you go to the pub. But if you had a shit day at work, you go to the pub. You want to see your mates, you go to the pub. So it just like kind of, every single thing just kind of leads to the pub. The Red Lion pub here has been a place for our family to meet for at least a hundred years. My day is fabulous, like a 24-hour cocktail party. I just like drinking. I like the feeling of being drunk. I'm not an alcoholic, <laughs> but I do like my glass of wine in the afternoon. <laughs> This is a part of my life, the Red Lion. Part of my life. That's really what it's about, really. Friendship, camaraderie. We're just one big happy family. Welcome to the Red Lion, the most popular pub name in Britain. Every day, over 600 Red Lions open their doors for us to quench our thirst. Excuse me. The pub is a focal point for people and communities everywhere. So we set off on a 3,000 mile journey around Britain's red lines to find out who goes there, <laughs> what gets talked about, oh, there's lots of seagulls out there, look, Joe, yeah. and how much gets drunk. <laughs> Our first red line is 20 miles from Cardiff on the Welsh coast. It's Wednesday night and pretty quiet inside the pub. But all that's about to change. <laughs> These girls are members of the Newport University netball team. They say they're very well behaved on the other six nights of the week. But tonight's their big night out and Josie and Lulu are leading the way. The, the main aim of Wednesday night is to get drunk. We drink the equivalent of what most people drink in a week on a Wednesday night. We pretty much don't spend money the rest of the week so that we can go out on a Wednesday night and get wasted. Um, about once a month we'll do pub golf. There's nine holes. There's a specific drink for each each pub. So when we come into the Red Lion, we always, always, always have Guinness. And then, like, Sarah will say go, and we'll down them. I like to do it in one. I feel like I have something to prove. <laughs> we try and get it all done together, because the sooner we get the drink in, the sooner we can go and get another one somewhere else. Excuse me. Still cold. Come on, girlies. So what are you competing for? To get the most, most drunk. Most drunk. And who's likely to win tonight? Oh, actually, is it to get the most drunk? It's to see who can drink the most and still be standing. standing. <laughs> <laughs> most drunk, I'll probably be me. <laughs> I'm not ashamed of it, though. <laughs> Everyone would be like, Josie, you were so drunk last week. I'd be like, mm-hmm. Do not worry about the fact that you, you kind of get so drunk you don't know what you do. No, because we, we always have each other. So if I'm like really, really drunk, I will always take her home. Guys, it's Valeros and a tequila shot. How much will you spend in the course of one night doing pub golf? So you're prob probably about 40, 50 quid maybe. On a, on a pub golf night. On a, yeah. And, and wouldn't you prefer to just do it a bit more gradually? I think as a student, you can't... It just seems like such a waste of money to sort of social drink. Not, maybe, not maybe. feel the effect. <laughs> if I spend, like, 15 quid on, say, three large glasses of red wine, and then um, the next day I wake up and I'm like, oh, wow, I don't even feel it. Like, I just spent 15 quid and there's no effect. Like, my body is not suffering. What's the point? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just spent all that money for no reason. So part of the thing is spend shed loads of money so that you feel like shit the next day. Yeah, feeling like shit is definitely 
the reason it's definitely what we live for the Thursday the hangover day makes it all worth it <laughs> It is so frowned upon almost, like they do these binge drinking things on television and you know, don't do it and you lose all respect for yourself. Well, you don't at all because I'm quite in control of the fact that I'm going out to get drunk. So, and I'm, I'm okay with that. So as long as I'm okay with it, if you don't like it, then don't look, don't watch. I think if you're in control of what you're doing like we are, we're fully aware that we go out on a Wednesday to get absolutely yeah. and, and it annihilated. Is, it's ritual, isn't it? It's, you know, we do it, it's like a scheduled thing. It's like if you have a dance class in a week, you go to it every week and that's what you do. Well, drinking for us is like a dance class. We do it every week. <laughs> Comparing drinking to a dance class. <laughs> <laughs> My mum's going to kill me. <laughs> girls only drink in their red line on a Wednesday night. But other people go to the pub much more often and for very different reasons. With over 600 red lines to choose from, we continued our journey round Britain to meet the red line regulars. I live on my own. Obviously, it's a bit lonely living on your own. Sometimes I've been home and talked to myself. You know, I mean, sometimes you go home, I can't find the keys to my house, your house. And um, I sometimes tell myself off, I go, you silly bugger, Reg, what have you done with them keys? And I go, well, I don't know, do I, Reg? And you think, well, hang on a minute, am I going mad here or what? Am I really going mad? <laughs>